Hello everyone. Uh, this is the video solutions to lab 3.2. Okay, so first we're given a table and it says it shows the yearly profits of a health company. So T equals zero corresponds to 1997. So this would be 97, 98, 99, and so on, right? This is four years after 97 or 2001. Okay, so it says explain how the data indicate the company's profit are increasing exponentially, right? On the first test, I'd give you a table and the data increased linear, right? Y equals MX plus B. Now we're saying, how do you know that this increases exponentially, meaning uh, Y equals AB to the X? Well, uh, just like your project, um, we discuss successive ratios. If we have successive ratios that are constant, we know we have an exponential function. So the ratio means division. So generally, I would divide the last two numbers and see what I get. Then I would divide the next two numbers and then the next two numbers. So if you divide 2.2 divided by 2, you get 1.1. If I divide 2.42 divided by 2.2, I get 1.1. If I were to divide 2.9282 divided by 2.662, I'd still get 1.1. So because successive ratios are constant, that's how I know that this is an exponential function. So on a test or a quiz, I would probably show two calculations like this, and then I'd say successive ratios are constant, so I know we have an exponential function. Next, what is the growth or decay factor? Right, remember, the B, right, when we, when we find our successive ratios, the value that we get, this 1.1, is our growth or decay factor. We'll call it growth if the value is bigger than 1. If the value is between 0 and 1, we'll call it decay. So we have 1.1, so we can say growth factor is 1.1. Next, it says, okay, let P of T represent the yearly profit T since 1997. So remember, our function is really y equals a, b to the x. Uh, but now they're replacing the p, uh, y with p and x with t. Right, I just wanted to remind you, right, this is the uh, function for exponential growth. But they replaced y with p and x with t. Okay. So... We already know the B and Y equals AB to the X or P equals AB to the T. The B was 1.1, right? A, right, is the initial profit in this case, right? A is your storing value, right? When X is zero, what is Y? Or when T is zero, what is P? So the initial profit is two, right? This company starts out in 97, the profit's $2 million that year. So I put in the two for my A, right? So it's AB, A is your initial value. Okay, now part four says uh, the yearly profits of this company are increasing by what percent? Now, some people are going to say, oh, 1.1%. But remember, this B is your growth factor. To find growth rate, we need the growth rate formula, right? The formula for growth rate is B equals 1 plus R. So B we know is the 1.1. The R is what we don't know. So if I subtract 1 from both sides, I end up with 0 0.10 equals R. And as a percent, move the decimal two places to the right. And you have 10%. That's called the growth rate. So the profits, they're not growing by 1.1%. They're growing by 10%. Next, it says use your function to estimate the profit in 2003. So remember, the initial value... Our initial profits start at time zero, which is 1997. So 2003 is six years later, right? 2003 minus 97 is six. So I replace the T in my formula with six. My time is six years. That's where the six comes from. When I calculate that, I get 3.5. Remember, that's in millions, right? So it's 3.5 million people, okay? What's the p-intercept, right? Well, p-intercept is the same as the y-intercept. You can find it by you sub in zero for x, solve for y. So if I were to replace this t with zero, anything raised to zero is one, and I'm left with two. Also, from the table, at time zero, my initial profit is two, right? The y-intercept or the p-intercept is always your initial value, your initial profit, your initial time. Uh, so in this case, our initial profit was two million. Lastly, uh, it says, use your calculator, graph or table, to estimate when the profit will double. So remember, our initial profit was $2 million. 
So double 2 million would be 4 million. So you see four years later, we're only at 2.9. So to get from two to four, I'm assuming we're gonna go out to like, I don't know, six, seven, eight, something like that. So the easiest way to handle this problem would be to graph it, right? Pull out your graphing calculator and put in two times 1.1 raised to the X for Y1, Y2 would be four, right? So the initial part was two, double would be four. The intersection would be our answer. Here's my window, right? Zero to 10, zero to 10. I press graph. So uh, you can see the red line, the straight line is the y2 equals four. The line with the curve that looks exponential is the two times 1.1 to the t. Press second above trace, it says calc, because we're calculating the intersection, which is number five. There's only three, uh, two curves, so I can press enter, enter, enter and you see it says intersection of 7.27 7.27 so how long will it take to double the property eh, about 7.27 years right and the work i'd like to see on the test right it says show your method well sketch the graph you know it doesn't have to be a picasso but i'd like you to sketch the graph and label the intersection i think that does it okay for this particular lab i'll just scroll back to show you some of the answers Thank you for watching.